Hi, welcome to Sister Trading and Technology. Talk one is the solution in Vietnam. I'm Dan, an ESD engineer. As you know, most of electronic manufacturing or semiconductor factory, they require apply ESD control program in manufacture. And nowadays, most of the methods will really useful to control electrostatic discharge is using. Uh, garment for people like you know clothing made from the synthetic fiber that's one of the shorts to uh, to create or to generate static charge on human body and when we are touched in the ESDS sensitive ESD they can be a damage for your product and today I will show to you the, the standard test methods to evaluating resistance of garment according to S2020 standard the requirement limit for study control garment is under 1.0 times 10 to the 11 and today I will show you how to evaluating the is the garment study control first of all let's talk about the requirement equipment the DC show half two range 10 volts and 100 volts. We need to have a two cylinder electrodes and the weight of one electrode is 5 pounds. We need to have a two specimen insulated supports. And before before testing or before we measure the garment, the garment should have put in the uh, condition requirement. Uh, properly 48 hours before testing and the condition of laboratory testing is uh, dependent on your factory uh, we have a two option the first one is the lowest the lowest condition in your factory and the normal condition in your factory and now I will show you how to measure it. we use resistant point-to-point -point test method put the garment on insulated support surface with the inside surface laying on the specimen support surface. Position the insulated sleeve insert from into each sleeve of the garment under test to isolate one side of the fabric to the other side. Place one electrode on one of the garment sleeves. Place the second electrode on another part of the same sleeve directly above on the insulated slip insert. If the reading is less than 1.0 times 10 to the 6 ohm, apply 10 volts and observe the reading after 5 seconds. Record the value. If the reading is greater than or equal to 1.0 times 10 to the 6 ohm, apply 100 volts for a minimum of 15 seconds. Record the value. Repeat the test for remaining garment panels as well as second garment slip by moving the second electrode. When measuring the garment slips, ensure that the electrodes are directly above the insulated slip. Repeat for all panels and test samples. Thank you. If you have any questions or you want to get more information, you can contact with us. Thanks.